Intruder alert. alert. Intruder alert. alert. Security, Security breach at gate 3. three. Intruder, Intruder has been located in the north, north quadrant and, and is moving, moving in the direction of the underground, underground base. base. All, All units prepared to engage. engage. Emergency, Emergency battle, battle formations. formations. Standard, Standard battle, battle procedures, procedures initiated. initiated. Locate, Locate and, and stop, stop the intruder from entering the security area. area. This, this is, is not, not a drill. drill. This, this is, is not, not a drill. drill. <laughs> that was all too easy. Let's take a look at what my grandfather was working on. A top secret military weapon. Could the military shut down the research because they feared him? My god, Eggman, going crazy there with the firepower. Hello, everyone. I am Third Mario Brother, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2. In the last episode, of course, we finished up the hero story. In this episode, we are beginning the dark side story, the story of the villains of the game, which I think is such an awesome inclusion to a game and such an awesome way to build it. And we are playing our first level as the Doctor himself, Doctor Eggman. That's right. And oh my gosh. When I was a kid playing this game for the first time, I thought it was amazing that you could play as Dr. Eggman. I mean, sure, in games earlier in the series, like Sonic Drift, for example, you could play as Dr. Eggman, but in this game, he's a main character. He's a main playable character. He's not just some gimmick that's like, oh, you can play as Eggman, look at this. You actually are the Doctor, and you're participating in one of his evil schemes, and I think it is absolutely amazing. Whenever you can play as characters like this, uh, like the villains, or even just smaller characters in general, I've always been a sucker for that kind of thing. Like, uh, for example, in Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, when you could play as Bowser in his little, like, Mario Bros-esque segments, I thought that was the coolest thing ever, and when I first played this game, I went straight to the dark story, and when I found out you could play as Dr. Eggman, that was even cooler. And even cooler than that is the fact that if you go to the Chow Garden with Dr. Eggman, he's walking around like he's standing up and not in his mech or anything, because you can't take care of a Chow in a mech. And I will be sure to show that off eventually, because it's hilarious how fast he can run, and it is hilarious in general. But anyway, we are back at the beginning of the story. Actually, this is the very first level, like, chronologically, so if you want to play through all the levels in the way that the story actually takes place... Play through this one first, although you can't really do that on a first playthrough of the game, but yes, this takes place before everything else, and we are invading Prison Island. This is before Shadow has been freed, this is before uh, Eggman has made his alliances with him and Rouge, and so this happens before everything, and the Dark Side story is really the story that explains what's going on, and what's over here I believe is just another Chow Key, I could be wrong. Yes, it is just another Chow Key, and I almost jumped off the edge just to show you guys that, but anyway, yes, this is where the story begins, and you can actually get uh, speed up shoes in Eggman's mech and I don't know if you can get them in Tails mech anywhere but they are all over the place in the dark story and it's kind of hilarious how fast this thing runs when it has a speed up power up but anyway let's lock on to some beetles down here and blast them all out of the sky and if you remember we did play a prison island level with Tails but I guess it was a different part of prison island or like maybe just a different version of the same level or something because Everything was completely different in that version of the story, but anyway, let's go ahead and destroy this gate, and every time you destroy a gate with a new number on it, it's like level 5 breached. Yeah, exactly as it's doing right now, because that was the first level 5 gate that we breached, and when I was young, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool, I'm so powerful, I'm so evil, this is great! And of course, when I was a kid, I was in love with the dark story because I got to feel super powerful and I got to feel like I was a real menace to the world and all that kind of stuff. And generally, I'm into like, our, I was into, not so much anymore, anymore I don't really care just as long as the game's fun. I used to be into like being the hero of the story and saving the day and being the main character and stuff like that, but, uh... When I played this and when I started playing as Eggman and Shadow, I felt so cool destroying all these doors with my missiles. And oh my god, why would they design this place to have a missile that uh, blasts right through their security measures? I have no idea, but yosh! I agree, Eggman. I totally agree. And there is the first level of the Dark Story. Now you know why I am the best. <laughs> and I still love Eggman just as much as always. It's a lot smaller than I expected. Enter user data. Uh -huh. And 
enter password. Password is Maria. Maria, now all I have to do is to place the Chaos Emerald into this console. This is Scorpion Troops Hotshot. Enemy movement has been detected. En route to intercept and destroy. And here we go, everybody. Now we're playing as Shadow the Genie Hog because he's gonna grant Eggman one wish, and that seems like kind of ridiculous dialogue to me, but I... If I might mention, I love jumping into the cockpits of gigantic 5-ton uh, metal robots because that just feels great on my skin, and it makes me very beautiful for all the ladies. No, um... What was I gonna say? I love the little sounds that Eggman makes throughout this game, that's what I was gonna say. At the end of the level, sometimes he goes, YOSH! And, uh, half the time he goes, oh ho in cutscenes, and oh my god, it is amazing. And I pointed out- That thing went through the <laughs> This is some really, really advanced military technology here, jeez, I knew, uh... What was he? I, I have no idea where I was going with that. Anyway, let's go ahead and hop into this guy's face. It's basically the same as the Bigfoot fight that we had in... Um, the hero story with Sonic, but this time we're doing it with Shadow, the ultimate life form. And as soon as I heard his voice and saw what he could do and all of his powers and his ability to fly randomly just to impress Dr. Eggman a couple of minutes ago, I thought he was great as a kid. And you know what? I still have fun playing as him. I still think he's a cool character. Destroying that darn robot was spectacular. So, Shadow, you are the military's top secret weapon. But what did you mean when you said you will grant me a wish? Bring more Chaos Emeralds. Shadow, wait! I'll be waiting for you in the central control room on the Space Colony Ark. Ark? And now, already in the first part of the Dark Story, we get to play as all three characters. Stage 2, Dry Lagoon with Miss Rouge the Bat. And oh my gosh, the turtles here are absolutely adorable. I so prefer this stage to, um, Knuckles' is what was it, Wild Canyon or something like that? Or is that a, the name of a Sonic Adventure one? I don't know. I don't have it on my mind at the moment, but I vastly prefer this stage to Knuckles' first treasure hunting stage. And yes, Rouge is the treasure hunter of, um... 
the uh, villains in this game. So, the first emerald looks like it's going to be right here inside of this guy, who I just, for some reason, stood on top of because I wanted to give him a few last mercy seconds or something. I have no idea. Either way, the uh, level seems very small at first, but then you come over here and, oh no, these mean old robots are making, are bullying this turtle. There you go, I'll save you, little buddy. And he makes a cute little squeak, and his eyes look kind of absolutely terrifying now that I look at him, but I swear I thought it was cute at some point in my life. So anyway, we can come over to this part, and yes, this level is split into two segments, which are... Ah, no, why did I do that? I always do that, and I only got an extreme instead of a perfect. God dang it, I am so disappointed in myself. But yeah, this level is split into two sections, which are the small oasis and the huge oasis. What absolutely stunningly creative names, huh? Anyway, it looks like there are no other emerald pieces here in the huge oasis, and it looks like this is actually... Wow, how did I, like, never notice that before? This is the same level as Knuckles' first... Whoa, okay, hello, we are already flashing red, what is going on? Um, it looks like it's the same level that, like, Knuckles' uh, thing was. And I have words in my mouth, but none of them are coming out. It's just this one is populated with vegetation and the like. So is the emerald, like, under here or something? Yep, it looks like it, and there is the third emerald piece. For some reason, I always do a lot better on this level than I do on, like, uh, Knuckles' first level. And once I beat this level in under a minute, and I was super impressed with myself, but you know what? Almost two minutes, good enough. How is that? Perfect? Like me? And that'll do it for this episode of Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2, so I'd like to thank you all very much for watching, and I hope you guys are enjoying the dark story enough to tune in next time when we continue it. So I'll see you guys then.